the funny thing, it's like when you come on these shows, people almost, one, feel like they know us, and then two, feel like we are, some, not all people, feel like we're on some type of different platform when really mm-hmm. not, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, but you are human. You know, you just spoke about, all three of us are human, obviously. But you just spoke about some really tough things, and I want to, mm-hmm. if I can, go back to that. What were, like, your emotions going through a breakup, going through a divorce so publicly? Mm. It was really scary. I felt, because, you know, the first time I was on The Bachelor, I had, you know, that typecasted as the villain. And um, the worst villain, as reality TV or reality Steve said, because I wasn't mean. Like, I was just made fun of. And, um, you know, that's just such a whole process. And so I felt so so much shame around that. I felt so just rejected, unloved, um, and like unseen for who I really was. And it was so frustrating to be like, this is who I am. Like, that's, that's not, that's just this curated version, but not, not, not me. And so going into paradise, I was so excited to just have a second chance. And, you know, looking back, there's like so much to like unpack there Mm -hmm. from bachelor, but it was in hindsight, such a tough, season of my life, but so beautiful because it just became this huge mirror in which I could really see where I was not being authentic. I wasn't being my true self. I was really hiding who I was because I thought that people knowing all these hardships about me, that they wouldn't love me because of it. And going through that process, I realized uh, really on my two on one date with Kendall, where it was like, uh, and that's when I got sent home in Paris. And it was like, my imperfections are what make me beautiful. Like people can love me because of, of my hardship and for, for sharing that and opening up. And so I was able to really see the beauty and becoming vulnerable and like breaking down my shell. And so paradise, I was like, I don't care if I go home on day one, I'm going to be me. I'm going to show up. I'm going to have fun. And like what happens happens. And like, that's my advice for anyone going on this season is like, just see yourself, just have fun and like throw out the rule book and like, just do you bill. And that really transformed my whole life and really cracked me up into being like, we think people can't see the real us, but it's so, we're so transparent. It's so obvious that there's like cracks under the foundation or we're like really hiding mm-hmm. and we just got to like own it. And who's going to love you is going to love you. And who's not, is not, is going to not. That is true. Who who will love you will be there for you. Who won't, won't. And it's funny, like the people that follow us normally are the ones that are like go harder for us even when we may do something wrong and the people that never mm-hmm. liked us to begin with are gonna go harder as well I'm like yo don't oh, hate even more like this person yeah <laughs> yeah uh but when it came to being in the public eye with the divorce how yeah. was that aspect for you yeah that was really that was really tough because i felt that going on paradise you know getting matched up with someone and having um there was so much love and attention and um, celebration around our relationship. And I was like, wow, being in a relationship means I'm love, but by myself, I, I was a villain. Gotcha. And so, you know, deciding to separate and divorce, I was really afraid that outside of that relationship, I would be the villain again. I, I wouldn't mm. be loved. I wouldn't be accepted. And I would be a failure. And so for a long time, like we kind of battled on if we were going to split or how long we were going to you know, when we were going to be ready. Cause it was very scary for both of us, I, I would say. And, um, you know, it was, it was really hard. And then a, it was on Valentine's day, 2020. And then, you know, just a couple weeks later, the pandemic happened and everything shut down. So that was really tough. And I think I, I became really, really, I didn't know what to say because I wanted to be respectful of my ex and at the same time, kind of honor both of our grieving of what was um and kind of inviting the public in because they were so invested in our relationship was really challenging to navigate i really didn't know how because i needed privacy but yet still felt this um duty to share that with all of the fans at the show um so it was really tricky and i think i just felt like i really pulled back um for a while because I just I wasn't really sure what to say. What um what advice would you give other people out there that have gone through a divorce, whether it's in the public eye or not, based on your experience? Oh my gosh. Well, I just want to say, like, you want to be really clear that that's the right decision that you want to make. And um 
to be gentle with yourself and be gentle with the other person. And you can part ways on good terms. It doesn't have to be angry. And if you can come from a place of love and speaking your truth while still honoring yourself and the other person, there can be a really nice way where you can kind of go on different paths, but still be respectful of the other person. 